remember we have already discussed uh, the first part in the Boole's inequality. I said to you that Boole's inequality consists of two parts. We have done with the first part. This is the second inequation inequality. Probability of union i is equal to 1 to n, ai less than or equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n, p of ai. So this is the second part which we are going to prove in Boole's inequality. Again it involves n number of events. This proof is also done by mathematical induction which consists of you know that considering the given statement as equation number one in the first step you need to prove that one is true at n is equal to two then you need to assume that it is true at n is equal to r and then you need to prove it is true at n is equal to r plus one by mathematical induction we say that given statement is true the same we did with addition theorem and we did for the first part of Boole's inequality <coughs> here also the same so consider this as equation number one what you need to prove let us prove 1 is true at n is equal to 2 that is substitute union i is equal to 1 to 2 ai less than or equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to 2 p of ai so as you have union here and i is running from 1 to 2 put i is equal to 1 and uh, what are the possible values for uh, i? 1 and 2. First place i is equal to 1. What is the symbol you have here? Union. And a2 less than or equal to. Uh, i is running from 1 to 2. But the symbol here is sigma. So, elevate p of a1 plus p of a2. Okay. This is one you need to. This is the statement you need to prove. So, again you consider the addition theorem on probability. which is nothing but probability of a1 union a2 is equal to p of a1 plus p of a2 minus p of a1 intersection a2. So this is in the form of equation. If you want to write that as inequality, so take the best example here. If I take uh, as the probability always lies uh, between uh, 0 and 1, I want to take uh, possible values for this. If I take here 7, so if it is 7, okay, how can I get 7 as the sum of these two and minus 1? I will get 10 plus, how can I get 10 or, or otherwise 8 plus 2 minus 1, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 minus 1 or 8 plus 2, 10, 10 minus 3. So if I, if I write uh, a possible combination for this statement, this 7 can be obtained as 8 plus 2 minus 3. So any number you can take. If I write 10 here, how can I get 10 different, any of your own combination. If I write here 12 plus 3 minus 5. So if you observe this relationship, I can write that this number is always less than the sum of these two. Means I can write from <coughs> this that p of a1 union a2 less than or equal to p of a1 plus p of a2 by using addition theorem first term is always less than or equal to sum of 2 so i think if you consider this as equation number 2 so we can say that 1 is true at simply we have proved 1 is true at n is equal to 2 what is the next step let us assume 1 is true at n is equal to r r then place n is equal to r i is equal to 1 to r a i less than or equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to r p of a i we are assuming it is true at n is equal to n then what you need to say do then to prove 1 is true at n is equal to r plus 1 if you replace n is equal to r plus 1 here 1 to r plus 1 a of i less than or equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to r. Here you replace n is equal to r. You need to prove this. Again the same one. Consider. Mm, let us take this as equal. Same numbering. Consider LHS of 4. Probability of union i is equal to 1 to r plus 1 a i. So what I had you split the entire 1 to r plus 1 to two events 1 to r and r plus 1 probability of union 1 is equal to 1 to r ai union ar plus 1 the same step 
splitting the entire r plus 1 into two parts 1 to r as the one part and r is the another part if you take as the first one as a1 and a2 so as we have proved that 1 is true where 10 is equal to r we can write that as as this uh, we have less than here this equal to becomes less than so probability of union i is equal to 1 to r plus 1 a i this is the last statement i think we have as 1 is true at n is equal to r okay we can consider this as a1 and a2 you will get this as this one less than or equal to p of a1 means union i is equal to 1 to r a i plus p of union a r this is nothing but lhs of 3 which is nothing but we are assuming it is true at n is equal to r 1 i is equal to 1 to r p of a i plus p of this is a r plus 1 p of a r plus 1 so by combining these two we can write less than or equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to r plus 1 a i so this is nothing but uh, LHS of 4 LHS 4 we got so we can say that 1 is true at n is equal to r plus 1 so we can say that 1 is true for all the possible values of n hence proved ok thank you